Somebody needs to pay for all my children. Somebody needs to be held accountable, and they need to pay. Hey everybody, I was reading that Thin Privilege site and they were talking about this old story from 2010. Blaming the firefighters for not being understanding, not knowing how to use their equipment properly. And you know, if it's from uh, Thin Privilege, you know it's horse shit. So I looked up this story and I didn't read it yet. I thought maybe we could read it together because Richie's always been about sharing. And, you know, and caring, I guess. But anyway, let's get started. By Elizabeth Fay. Elizabeth Fay is one of my favorite writers. Rockford, an overweight... F <laughs> Rockford, an overnight fire traps a teenager and two children inside a Rockford home. Jemiah Heron, 18, died at the scene. Firefighters rescued the other kids. Firefighters rescued the other killed. <laughs> what kind of writing is that? It seems a candle started a fire at 2206 Clover Avenue in Rockford just before 4 a.m. Monday, the two parents, Joe and Dolores Heron, escaped. But when firefighters arrived, their daughter and foster kids were still inside a bedroom. Rescuers got the two boys out. It was too late for the teenage girl. Fanny Barbie, a relative of the family, says she was very faithful in church. Whenever I go over there, she was really a nice person. <laughs> this is like, I don't know, maybe I'm retarded. It's, just, it's very possible, but this story seems very, like, disjointed. The Rockwood Fire Department responded to the one-story house. Jemiah Heron and her two daughter, two younger foster brothers, ages 10 and 11, were trapped. Rescuers got to the boys through the window. They were flown to a hospital in Madison for severe smoke inhalation. Yo, man, they were smoking some of that goo shit, my brother. Just inhaling a little of that goo shit, you know what I'm saying? Firefighters could not lift Jemiah through the window. Investigators say she weighed more than 500 pounds. You hear that, everybody? That's not 100 pounds. That's not 200 pounds. And hey, I know what you're saying. It's not 300 pounds. It's not 400 pounds. It's 500 pounds. Winnebago County Coroner Sue Fiducia says, that did hamper the fire department and fire rescuers from taking her out the window. Yeah, you try taking a fucking 500 pound bag of fucking passed out shit out of a window and see what happens good luck they did have to bring her out the door and in doing that two firefighters were actually injured you gotta think of that uh lard asses when you're eating all that goo shit man that if a fire happens you know they're gonna have to have, they're gonna have to rescue you man you could injure a poor motherfucker's back by being such a big fat sack of shit so think about that everybody Let's see, uh, and by then it was too late. The daughter of a pastor and a singer at the church died on the scene. They gave 110%, did their best, and sometimes we're not able to save every, and sometimes we're not able to save everyone, but we're able to get two individuals out of the structure alive, says Fire Guy. Investigators say Jemiah died from breathing smoke. Like I said, man, just hitting that goo shit, man. Get yourself, get yourself a little of that goo shit, man. <sighs> there will be an autopsy this week. Oh, good luck, man. It'd be like butchering a pig. Of course, this was a long time ago. Her parents also went to the hospital for smoke inhalation. Again, having some of that goo shit smoke it up, man. They should recover. The firefighters hurt their backs. Chief Bergs and... <laughs> Man. And this fat bitch was blaming the fire department. These poor guys, they hurt their back carrying this bag of shit out of the house. And they pretty much broke their backs doing it. And six years later, some shit bag is writing an article saying these people are evil. And I didn't read that article because it was a fucking novel, man. I don't have time for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, firefighters are well. Chief Bergen says they were scheduled to get checked out, checked out by doctors on Monday. So they hurt their backs so bad they have to go to the doctor. There's a memorial fund set up if you want to help the family. Just go to Annie Harris, 
bank and say it's for Heron family. There's also a fundraising job. Who gives this shit? But man, don't blame the fire department because they can't fucking get your fucking fat ass out of the house. That was, and to be fair, the person who died didn't do that, of course. It was other people, but still, you're gonna be a 500 pound bag of shit. And no, it's not you were born that way. You weren't born a bag of shit. <laughs> You turned yourself into a bag of shit and you like being a bag of shit. But when you get fucking deep fried in your house and no one could save you, that's your fault, man. That's your fault, man. Remember what Richie says. That's your fault, man. Well, bye, everybody.